Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss next week at the Budstone Show. We'll have Stephen Hunter, the film critic for the Baltimore Sun. He'll be telling us his favorite summer movies, movies to come to look forward to, and favorite video rentals, of course. Uh, I've never seen the guy before. He could be Siskel. He could be Ebert. I have no idea. He could be a combo of the two, but we'll have a great time with him. Don't miss the show. Next week, that's right. Mm. What's up? This is Ruby. I'm here from the Bud Stone Show, roaming as usual. How would you feel about, like, two free tickets to see Elton John? What would you say? I would say yes. I don't have them, but I can come here for one minute. She's beautiful. Hold on. I just don't know. I like the go. Yeah? I agree with you. Yeah. Who? Well, who? What's your name, sir? My name is Nicola Camarotti. You say this cat is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm talking about Ruby. Ruby. And we can do it. How long have you guys been doing this, first of all? I've been, I've been doing it just this summer. Just this summer? Oh, yeah. All year? Two days. Two days? You're a rookie, huh? Yeah. So they're giving you, like, they're beating you up in the showers and stuff? And no, but after he doesn't come all the time. Oh, he doesn't come all the time? Do they shave your head? Do they, yeah, uh, is there any, like, rookie uh, initiation? Oh, yeah, they throw, you, they, throw me in the, they throw me in the laundry room. Do they really? Yeah, they do. There's a tobacco policy even for bat boys. Everybody. You yeah, guys can't dip in the dugout in anything. So what do you do, seeds? No. What do you do? You do gum? I Mike Machine and I put in 16 pieces of gum in our mouth. Did you? Yeah. Here okay, with John O'Donohue, and by the way, John, I, I, I catch your talk show weekly, every day at 4 o'clock. I think you're better than Oprah. I think you're better than Montel. I see a future for this guy. What do you think? Well, I tell you, all you need to do is give me a couple of pounds of 20s, and we'll be <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is really John O'Donohue. He's the pitching coach here for the <clears throat> Bowie Bay Sox, who, after this, you guys are moving. Am I correct? This yes, is the we'll last time down, here in Memorial Stadium? Down to Bowie next year. Down to Bowie, because we're really here in Baltimore, I guess, the outskirts, pretty I much. I think that's where we are. Yeah, yeah uh, the Orioles, yeah, that's pretty much where we are. And uh, so is that a big transition now with everything? I... No, it's it, it's really not. It's been a very, very rewarding experience for the youngsters to be here playing in, a, in Memorial Stadium. You know, there's a lot of history here. Yeah. And uh, the field has been just magnificent this year. Um, when you guys are moving talking switching fields, are we talking natural grass oh, at sure. the Bowie yeah, Stadium everything. as well? Yeah. I think uh, the groundkeeper here, uh, Jimmy Jurgens, is uh, planning on having uh, uh, bluegrass oh, really? down there. He hopes to. Anyway. Yeah, that'd be terrific. So it should, it should be very nice. We got the berth? We don't, yes, we do. We don't know where we're going, we're going yet. We may go to Canton, we may go to Harrisburg. All right, it just depends on what we do these last two ball games. If we win one ball game, we'll go to Canton. And how'd we do against Canton early in the season? Uh, kind of uh, half and half. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, good luck. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Former Oriole himself, 69, 70, 71. You played the uh, All Star game in 71, right? Right. I, actually, I came with the club in 1968 and stayed through 72. All right. And how was uh, playing in Memorial Stadium? This must bring back well, a lot of memories for you. Well, it certainly does. It's an outstanding stadium, a lot of fond memories, a lot of history here, a lot of outstanding players. Uh, fortunately, I had a chance to play with some of those players, and some of them are in the Hall of Fame. So. I was very fortunate, and I feel very proud that I had a chance to play with him, maybe help them get into the Hall of Fame as well. Absolutely. This guy wasn't too shabby himself. He was always up there in stolen bases and everything. Well, he's going to be an exceptional park, and it'll be ready for the 1994 season. Look forward to being there. All right, how about you guys in terms of uh, rooting for the O's? I'm sure you guys are all behind him and everything, right? What do you well, think about it this year? Oh, yeah, naturally we are, and a lot of the players are friends, and, and we've played with some of those players that were here this year. Hammonds, for example, of course. Here this year. And, uh, playing a big league. It's a good example to show players at this level that they can go from double A to the major leagues in one year. It's just a matter of preparing themselves and having a good year and, and sticking with it. Yeah, we've been talking to Stan Cameron for a while. He's got some good potential, huh? Uh, he certainly does. He has the potential to hit some home runs. He just has to continue to be consistent and things will happen for him. Yeah, he's, he's like a natural. He's got the Dale Murphy sense in him, I think. Right, that's what What do you sure. think, right? Well, yeah, you gotta have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. So, uh, <clears throat> So off in the off season, then what, what do you got scheduled in the off season? And after after we win the whole thing? Well, in the off season, I usually just relax, play yeah. more golf, uh, maybe have a chance to go see some of our players in Arizona or something like that. But basically, I just take it easy and relax. You keep in touch with Jim and Brooks and all them, or? Well, no, uh, naturally, we're all friends. Uh, it's not like every day, but every so often sure. we get in touch and uh, come down to the we're ballpark. All friends, we, we maintain contact with each other. That's terrific. All right. Coach, it's been a pleasure. I really appreciate it. Hey, get that phone. Is that Domino's? I don't know. They're calling back to make sure they got the right address. Don't leave. The show hasn't begun. We're rolling out the carpet, turning on the lights, and dancing in the aisles as Sports Night throws out the first ball. Hey. Hey.
Welcome to Sports Night. I'm Chip Hickey, and tonight our cameras traveled to Memorial Stadium to catch one of the last regular season games of the Bowie Bay Sox, the Orioles AA franchise. On to the stadium where the Bay Sox took on the Albany Colony Yankees. Pitching for Bowie, former Major Leaguer Daryl Smith pitches six innings and gives up four earned runs, striking out six on the way. Swing and a miss. The Bay Sox pounded out eight hits against Albany's pitching, with this guy, number five, Sam Ferretti, belting out two hits to extend his hitting streak to 15 games. Power was provided with the help of Tim Hollins, who blasted a two-run homer. Amazing defense was supplied by this guy, who stole an Albany homer. And look who chipped in. Former Oriole Glenn Davis launched one into the seats in the bottom of the eighth to tie the game up 4-4. Four four. Fans cheer as Bo Ortiz delivers the winning run in the bottom of the ninth. Bay Sox pull off the win 5-4 and head to the Eastern League playoffs with timely hitting and a three-inning scoreless outing by Joe Borowski in relief. Thanks for watching. I'm Stanton Cameron here on the Budstone Show. Good night.